Who wants to learn QuickBooks? I don't hear you. A little louder. Want to learn QuickBooks? Watch these videos. Well, welcome back and I'm glad you found video number four for our QuickBooks tutorial. Yes, QuickBooks 2014, the hot doggers, here we are. So, this video we're gonna cover banking, mainly reconcile, but before we go into reconcile, I'd like to show you write checks. The previous video when we uh, paid those bills, remember that? Money grubbers, I was actually under checking. So remember all those transactions we did? You can review them right over here. And you can do several different things with them. A lot of it you'll see under edit over here. You can void a payment out. All right, so if you uh, void it out, then the bill becomes open or you can delete payment bills, which means that it does not make the bill open again. You're just deleting it. So. That's the difference between delete and void. Void is you're just voiding the checkout, but you still owe the money. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what else we could do over here. Yeah, I'll print, attach, order some checks. There's not a whole lot you can do over here. Reports, some new stuff that they have for different reports, little shortcuts for reports, so you you know, feel free to look at that on your own. Well, that's it. Let me close out of here. And I'm going to go to reconcile. We are going to reconcile the checking account. Once again, reconciling means that you're going to balance uh, the, the your checkbook by making sure all the entries are in there and they match what your bank statement says. So for your bank, it would be your bank statement. For your credit cards, it would be your credit card statements. That You can pretty much reconcile anything PayPal. Anything that has a statement. Anything that has a beginning balance and an ending balance is what you can reconcile. So since we did uh, the beginning balance 1231 on that first video, um, now we're going to say that the first statement is January 31st. This was our beginning balance. I'm just going to put some random number in here and I'm going to say uh, here we go. Service charge. No, I don't get service charge at the bank, but we'll just say that they charged me $7. With that kind of money, trust me, they don't charge you. If anything, they should pay you, right? bank service charges and I'm wondering if it's already in here bank service charges oh so it's already in there I don't know why I'm creating it let's do it again there it is uh, same thing you could have it all to go under one category you could uh, do uh, subcategories and have it for this but we'll keep it simple Interest earned, this is going to be more likely on the checking, on the savings, not on the checking. So nothing interest on this one. Hit continue. And so this is the, the difference over here is a million. And on 503. So of course I'm going to look at the bank statement. And I'm going to start checking off what I have on my bank statement and what I see here. So let's say I confirm this amount, I confirm this amount, I confirm this amount. I confirm this one, this one, however, these two were not on the bank statement. Okay, so as you can see, we still got a big difference over here. And so as we're looking at the bank statement, we realize, well, we obviously did not put everything. And whatever you did not put is what you have to start figuring out what it is and put it in somehow. And that's why you do this, right? Uh, you could even even have, even have had money transfer from savings account to uh, the checking account, vice versa. So I could do something over here where I could have had tra uh, money transferred from checking account to savings account. And I'm going to put that amount right there. 
Haha, uh -huh. different zero. You saw what I did right there? <laughs> exactly. So let's just say that the only thing I was missing was that transfer from one account to the other. So it could be as simple as that. Usually it's not. So I'm going to delete this transaction. And now you see we're back to the bases over here. And so before I do this, uh, this is once again where you could say, okay, so as far as checks and payments, I'm missing some payments. So I'm going to go back to banking and it's either that or a vendor and enter bills and pay bills. And this is where you start using all the stuff that you learned from video number one, two, and three and figure out what you have to do to meet the goal of reconciling your account. And if it's, you're missing money on the deposit side, it may have been money that you put in the bank account. So banking, here's a new one for you. Make deposit, okay? We're gonna deposit into the checking account. Received from, you're not over here. So we're gonna say that, I'm gonna put my name over here. I could be an employee, I guess, from account. And this is going to be um, let's see what account do we want to put it under hmm I don't see an account that I want to put it under so I'm going to add new I'm going to make it an equity account and I'm going to write my equity or you can write whatever you want it could be a loans payable officer, it could be a owner's draws, it could be a owner's uh, funds, save and close. So the reason why it's equity because it's not income. It's not money coming from a client, it's money coming from your pocket. Money from your pocket is your equity. So let's say I put cash in there and I put 5000 in there. So there you go, now that I've done that, oh, this was on my statement. This is how I figured out this was missing. So now I'm over here and so on and so on and so on. You know, you just keep doing it until you fill out, you know, until you have everything on the left, everything uh, on the right, everything on the left, everything matches. And over here is another tool that you can use to cross-reference your statement if it's not balancing. And you can figure out over here which one is right and which one is wrong unless it's, they're both wrong but let's say deposits show 23 325 so they go okay I know I'm good on deposits so something is definitely wrong in checks and payments and so this is a cool tool to use for that reason if it's not balancing but my best thing I can tell you is don't wait till the last month to put in transactions try to do as many to all transactions daily as you go along and that way when you do get to this portion of reconciling, right, when you do get to this portion over here, that um, it's easy to reconcile. All the transactions are here. You know, so it's going to be minimal work on trying to figure out why all this is not work balancing. So here we go again. Banking, transfer funds. I'm going to take it from uh, checking to savings. I'm just going to do this number over here just so I can balance it right now. Click on this, hit reconcile now. You can look at a summary report, you can look at a detailed report. You can print this, you can save it, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's just a good reference to go back in case you ever need to look at it, hopefully you don't. And that will take care of that. But now I'm gonna go back to banking I'm going to go to reconcile and I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's say you realize you made a mistake. You can actually choose this over here and undo your last reconciliation. And it's going to undo everything and you'll be able to start it fresh in case you feel like you made a mistake. Okay? I'm not going to undo it, um, but that's where it's at. And if I go and reconcile my savings account... We'll say that uh, I have one dollar extra on my savings account, and why? Because I earned a dollar interest. I can tell you right now it's not going to reconcile because we've played with the savings account a little bit, right? 
So we'll adjust the number in a second. Uh, so where is income? We got to look for income. So income, we're going to add a new one and we're going to call it bank interest income. And this could be oh, other income, hit save and close. Remember that transfer that we did? So there you have it. So in reality, that would have not been the that would have not been the actual balance. So this is where you can do modify. And you can change the balance over here accordingly to whatever you need. I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't need to figure out the math. The whole point is that's the point, and that's how you reconcile, and that's how you figure out exactly what's going on with your books. And once you reconcile everything beautifully, that's when you can go into reports and look at all the reports and know that they're accurate. And that's what we're going to cover on the next video. Video number five, reports.